All right, Tubes, here's a safety tip I wanted to share with you. Take a look at this wire here that came off a, a vehicle when it was used for, for accessory wiring for, you know, for, for lights or stereo, or heated seats, any, anything like that. It was just a uh, accessory wire. And the wire itself was, uh, was 8 gauge, so it was, it was more than enough to, to handle the, the current. Uh, that, that whatever accessories were on it would draw uh, but what the uh, the installer failed to do was install either a fuse or a circuit breaker right at the battery matter of fact there was no fuse at all uh, each accessory had fuses on it but that doesn't really do too much if, if the uh, the wire short circuits at a point uh, before the fuse box uh, so what had happened was as you can see somewhere a short circuit developed and on this end it actually got so hot uh, that this that the solder on the ring terminal melted and that's that's actually how the circuit ended up breaking uh, But you can see it just totally melted the uh, the insulation here It's ready to come off at this end closer to the battery and you can tell by the color of it. It, it got very very hot so uh, Owner of the vehicle is lucky. They didn't have a, a serious fire uh, that you know this could end up in a in a vehicle going up in flames so uh, I just figured I'd make a video real quick you know whenever you're doing auxiliary wiring doesn't matter what it is uh, my personal recommendation would be to have one main wire from the battery and go to an accessory fuse panel uh, but regardless even if you only have one accessory uh, make sure you either use uh, these things which I, I've used in the past uh, they're just accessory fuse holders um, or one of these, which is a, a circuit breaker. Uh, of course, the bene benefit to the circuit breaker being if it, if it trips, it just resets automatically. You don't have to replace a fuse. Uh, and one other word on, on fuses or circuit breakers, uh, make it as close to the battery as possible, because let's just say for the sake of argument that this here is your accessory end and this is your battery end. If you have your fuse right here, real close to your accessory, Sure, it'll protect your accessory if it draws too much, but it's not going to do a darn thing if you get a, a short circuit anywhere here between uh, your your circuit breaker or fuse and the actual power source itself. So always make sure your circuit breaker or fuse is very close to the battery, uh, therefore eliminating uh, most chances of, of uh, vehicle fires or, or shocks, any other kind of accident. So I uh, just figured I'd make a quick video on this, something uh, worthwhile showing to you because... Uh, better you see this now than uh, me seeing a video of a truck on fire. So, thanks for watching, Tubes.